Toy Story 4 is definitely a film that lacks focus. Upon going into this movie, I was cautiously optimistic. On one hand, I was worried since most of the post wally -E Pixar films have been not so great to me, but on the other hand, I was hopeful because Pixar has generally treated the Toy Story franchise with respect, and all of its sequels have been pretty good. But after I saw the movie, a lot of my worries were sort of confirmed. This film has a lot of the same problems I have with a lot of modern Pixar films, which is that it generally doesn't have strong themes. It's sort of all over the place, and tries to juggle too many concepts at once while not developing any of them hard enough. I felt like I didn't get enough character interaction and development between Woody and Sporky. Sporky himself was okay personality wise, but he felt sort of like a MacGuffin that Woody had to obtain throughout the film rather than a fully fleshed out character. I just wish we got more interaction with him. Bo Peep and Woody's relationship had a sort of strange arc. They show off a flashback sequence at the beginning of the film that shows how Bo Peep got sold off to an antique shop and her and Woody got separated. Woody then eventually finds Bo Peep as a wandering adventurer later in the film. I didn't feel like there was enough time focused on her and Woody's relationship though for it to feel like a necessary inclusion. I did enjoy how they changed her character though. They made her into a sort of lone ranger action packed adventure character. One of the weirdest changes they made to this movie was the character of Buzz Lightyear. He felt like he was just sort of there. He chases after Woody and helps advance the plot a little bit and tags along for the journey, but he feels weirdly flanderized. His whole joke in the movie is that he's stupid and tries to listen to his inner conscience by pressing his Buzz Lightyear sound buttons. It gets a little old to be honest. It's sort of strange that they regress his character in this way, especially since I felt like the second and third movie sort of developed him a lot. The film just didn't ever click or mesh well for me. It's very ambitious in what it tries to do, but I felt like it didn't execute on any of its goals strong enough. That's it's not to say it's completely bad though. The visuals and directing are really well done, as is the soundtrack. There's also a weird Shining reference in the film that I notice. The song that plays as the character zooms into the picture at the end of The Shining plays in this movie on a record in the antique shop in the film. It's actually a really cool reference. The antique shop is a great set design. It has a lot of broken down toys and awesome weird lighting. I really liked it. It was my favorite part of the movie. And I actually really like the antagonist of this movie, Gabby Gabby, who's the sort of queen character of the antique shop. I really wish the focus was more on her actually and the antique shop as a whole. It has a very creepy horror movie feel and it would have been a great setting to base almost the entire movie in. That's the thing though, everything that I liked about this movie I felt wasn't explored enough because the movie has too many ideas going on. It's narratively dense in a very generic Hollywood blockbuster sort of way where nothing feels like it ties into a central purpose or theme. It just doesn't mesh well, sort of like Finding Dory or The Incredibles 2. It feels very much like a modern Pixar sequel and I was sort or disappointed by that. But anyways, have you guys seen the movie yet and how did you feel about it if so? Leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts and like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content in the future. I'll see you in the next one.